Hello everyone and welcome to Battle for Wesnos with me, Sorin. Today we will be doing the basic, the first campaign, Heir to the Throne, which I have never been able to complete before, despite many attempts and despite the fact that I have done harder campaigns but not been able to do that one. But I shall try. I may fail. But let's jump right into the story. I will be going for beginner, but it has been a while since I've last done this. In the 28th year of the reign of Garrod II, King of Wesnos, the kingdom was plunged into a bitter war with the Orcs of the North. The northern host encamped at Galcadar by the ford of Abez, and the king led his forces to meet them. Splitting his army into two, he led one half while his son, the crown prince Eldred, led the other. Eldred was a brave and courageous warrior and able to lead his soldiers well. Unfortunately for Garrod, his son was also ambitious and treacherous. In the heat of battle, Eldred's men turned on the king, and so Garrod was slain in battle that day, along with his brother and all his sons but Eldred. Garrod's queen, Ashavir, looked on with glee, having come to watch the battle from a nearby hill. The rule of her son would surely satisfy her lust for power far better than her husband's had. In exchange for his tribute, the warlord of the north happily made peace with Eldred, who, who proclaimed himself king and led his army south towards a Weldon. But Garrod's archmage, the Faldor, had this escaped the battle and riding with haste reached Weldon first. He mustered a force of loyalists to fight Eldred and avenge the king's death. The loyalist army marched north to meet Eldred. Eldred made war upon the Falter and his forces with his mother's advice ringing in his ears. Fight no one great or small except the old mage, whose head should be severed from his shoulders. And Eldred did indeed meet the Falder face to face in battle. In the hinterlands near Tath, sword clashed against Staff as the wise old man, old mage, fought the brash young warrior. In the end, the Falder's men were defeated and routed, but Ashavir found her son's lifeless body fixed to the ground by the great mage's staff. Ashavir herself then took command of the army and led it back to Weldon. Knowing the, that the king's young nephews were next in line to the throne, she ordered them all killed and declared herself Queen of Wesnoth. Soon after the news of Ashavir's orders reached the Falzer, he secretly entered the palace and stole away Conrad the youngest of Garrod's nephews, thereby saving him from death. Fleeing to the Ethan Wood beyond the southwestern border of Wesnos, the Faldor raged the child Conrad under the protection of the elves, watching sadly as Ashavir's reign of terror over the land began. The elves besieged Ethan Wood. Sixteen years into her rule, Ashavir turned her attention to the Wood Elves living in the great forests southwest of Wesnoth, whom she despised. Orcish mercenaries were hired and dispatched to bring around their ruin. Conrad, Master the Felder, look, there are orcs coming from all directions. What shall we do? The Felder, there are too many to fight. Far too many. We must escape. To where? This is the only home we have. What about the elves? Eldred, 
We will fight them. But you must escape, Conrad. It is imperative you escape. We will go north. Perhaps we can reach the Isle of Aduin. If we can make it there, surely we will be safe. Conrad, we must recruit some elves to help us. Then you must make it to the signpost in the northwest. I will protect you. Very well, let us hurry. Rukhtafa. Attack the elves, my grants, and take over their villages. Let us claim this land for the queen. Nafatan. Ha <laughs> we will rip the filthy elves to pieces. Let them come, we will fight them with all we have. Shanta. Be careful, Conrad. Glad and well, Defalda. Do not spend your lifetime here, Chantal. Somebody will must warn the Northern Elves that the war we so long feared has begun. Okay, <laughs> up there. Elves besieged. Victory. Move Conrad to the signpost in the nor northwest. Defeat. Death of Conrad. Death of Defalda. Turns Radna out. 16 turns. Gold carry over early finish bonus. 40% of the gold carried over to the next scenario. What you do is you have you own these villages. Villages produce two gold plus can support one unit for free. Defalda has a silver crown and Conrad a golden one. Golden crown units and silver crown units, if they are killed, will lose the scenario. Only gold crown units can recruit. And that, in this case, is Conrad. And so let us do so. Archers are pretty good all around, especially against orcs. Orcs are brute force. Fighters are light on their feet. Scouts are just fast. Shamans, they're more your healers. They're not brilliant. But if you can get them to level up, they can be so powerful. I'm just gonna move some of my people up here and end the turn and see what happens next. Assassin, troll, assassin. Villagers, nasty, warrior, troll, crosswoman, crosswoman, and nasty, slayer, nasty, nasty. Okay, everyone's just recruited this turn, nobody's actually moved. I am a little all over the place with where I put things, but I that doesn't really matter too much, as long as everything kind of drives in the same direction. Some things need special formations, but that will be later, in a different scenario. This faction seems to be the deadliest with the most max level units, the slayers, the troll warriors. And yes, if you're wondering, they are destroyable, but the hardest is to the south, but you don't have enough time to do it, despite their power. The elves are good all round. They are neutral, meaning they fight both night and day unaffected. The reason why I'm taking the villages is actually I'm losing a gold a, uh, a turn because 
actually not having enough support, see I'm no longer losing it. But it's it doesn't really matter if you go into negative gold too much, though it will impact your next scenario a bit. Though having lots of gold helps a lot because you can just maintain that money. They change the flag for whoever's going. The elves have one of wood, the orcs have a tattered one, and each is with their own colour. Which is why you see the symbols on the... on the villages showing who owns them. Those slayers are nasty, it's very hard to hit them, they're skirmishers. Oh no, they're not. There's something that they can do that makes them really hard to hit. I think it's something to do with a uh, backstabbing unit. Gaudrod's turn. The orcs do not do particularly good against with range. Melee is the best option against these guys. Ranged against them. Thankfully, I have Defalder or Defalder. I'll show you how combat works in a minute. It's slightly complicated, but not that complicated. It kind of makes sense. Do I have a better unit to attack than my scout? Okay. Elves do better in forest, but they're in a village. Villages provide 50% defense, and therefore it's a 50% chance to hit. If you're on, say, uh, something that is a higher elevation, for instance, a fort or a mountain, you get an extra 20%. Uh, for instance, here, it shows you that because they have no ranged attack, they can't defend themselves. My unit will 100% not lose anything. This percentage chance is per hit. Uh, and then it calculates all around. It's the very low chance that they will have no damage. It's most likely they'll end up somewhere around two thirds health, and so it's six damage for one for a hit, and it's four attempts, which is what the second number is. That did better than what it suggested. Good, and you do a little more. Thank you, Scout. I'll move my shaman up because we'll need some healing. Battle medics are so useful. Because otherwise you just have to hold in villages, which is not too bad, but it's a lot better to have battle medics. Also because they are completely flanked, there's two on e uh, there's a unit on each side. They can only move one tile in any space that is not occupied. Skirmishers? The only way to restrict them is to completely surround them. And they're a real tricky thing. Which makes the... There's a faction, I can't remember their name. Who are basically reptilian. They only have two actual units. See, they just help heal date. Um, they only have the that faction only has two units, but they're so annoying because of it. Uh, 
because one is a skirmisher and has quite a few levels and they also have their own mage class. The main problem is just hitting them. Galdred getting in there, trying to remove that troll. I mean, today I would have thought we'd have gone for the sword, because they're a lot better with the sword than the bow. 9-5 with the sword, 9-3 with the bow. Oh, and they just removed the warrior. Nice. Oh, good. Good hit. Trantiles move. They're gonna try and move that, so I can't get any experience. Oh well. You get experience, you get one experience per hit, also you get one experience, you actually, no you get two, oh no you get one for also defending and they missing, and they're missing. The reason why I'm not going for the archer is because, well... Poison, it's annoying to remove. I am going to charge this guy from behind, it's not gonna do much. Oh, it did! It did the same as he did to us. Okay, heal up, move up. Defaldo moving up. And Conrad. Free archer. is better. That gives me better defense. So if they decide to counterattack, which they likely will, it won't be too bad. I'm not gonna attack my sh with my shaman, they, they just have to survive attacks in order to level up. Just end my turn now. The music is really nicely done for this, it really suits it. Okay, green guys. Aw, oh, the unit's poison. <laughs> well, you're not having a good time, are you? Prink. Uh, <laughs> just tried to hit my shaman and absolutely failed. So the cross women are deadly. They set them up for them because you heal and get cured as soon as you level up and they level them up into a hero. And they've just done this just move because nobody hit anything. Because they're so hard to hit and their chances aren't brilliant either. moves your takes your movement down to half and halves your attack power. I oh know it only it takes you down to one movement tile and half attack power. You go there. Now the Falder please knock this out. Yes, I am the Falder the Great prepare to die. Oppose me. Okay, and 
I'm gonna have to try this. It's not gonna be great. We actually got a decent amount of hits there. 30s for both of us. Okay. Um... Go for the sword. I know it's probably worse chances, but go for it anyway. When poisoned, you only got left with one. It, it takes away eight HP a turn until you have one HP left. Oh no, they are destroying our home. There could be no looking back. We must go quickly. Villages are only burnt down in special scenarios. This is one of them. In others, they are raised. Okay. Purple guys. Ow. That wasn't brilliant. Okay, and noble guys. Why didn't you attack with the sword? You're so much better with the sword than the bow. And that was just plain stupid. Because they have a resistance to blade. Things do have a natural armour in their attacks. Thank you. Typically, scouts do not last long with me because they are a weak attacking unit. Fast, yes, but not very good at combat. But when you get them leveled up, they are so much better. Okay, and my turn. Person cured. And poisoned. I will go and challenge them, that leader, when I, f when I can actually muster enough forces to do so. They, what they were doing in order to get these high level units is not buying, but recalling. In other words, they are veterans and their troops are as well. I will put in recalling on the next thing. Oh, I left a archer. Why did I do that? that that's an awful position to be in. Yeah, I forgot entirely about you. I'm sorry. You, yeah, you're about to absolutely get wrecked, Galdred. Sorry. And you just did. Uh, yeah. You can't even hit my shaman. You're not very good. And you missed your all of your shots. Brilliant idea. You missed. Yeah, it's not so brilliant to go ranged. That was a good idea. Because the camp is elevated above that guy, and they're in a weakened terrain for them. So, go for an entangle because this will slow down their damage quite a bit. Okay. 
the Fowler I don't think will be taking part in this fight. However, I think you will. Okay. Move my archer up. My last archer. Not brilliant. I left them there. Why did I leave them there? Can't complain too much. The nice little animations are brilliant. The main reason I am talking as much is because it's not entirely my own units. Allies, yes, but still. Don't know why they uh, burn the villages down. There seems there's no real point in doing so because they just don't get the gold income. Okay. Yes, the crossbowman. The crossbowman is so annoying. Knock that guy out. Ah, oh, he missed all. Yes, good. Good riddance. Mm -hmm. That should have been done by your shaman a little while ago. And... Marksman. Nice. They have little health bars on the left and the XP bars on the right. Different... Intelligent makes your... it's less. I want... Yes. I wonder if Conrad will be able to make it. No. Okay. Do I want an upgraded shaman? Or do I want a fighter or ex or just something else? I think I'm gonna go for the the shaman. Yeah, nice bit of XP. It's the XP starts off blue and becomes whiter as you get closer to a level up. When they're at max, it's always purple. Like with uh, the Falder here being a level 5 Elder Mage, you just get... It just gets more and more purple until you level up and reheal and cure. But that's about it. It's not very much. The one thing that makes this scenario actually winnable is the fact that the orcs don't have reinforcements, but the elves do. Yes, the orcs can harbour, well, can hinder our income, but it's not that much. You guys turn. Yes, good. Nice healing from our shaman. Nicely done. If you're wondering what they're throwing there, it's a net. It's a special of the Goblin Pillager. Goblin Pillagers are great units to have. They're focusing their attack over there and will come round and sweep down, if they had the time, which they do not. Well, I don't. I will draw my units back except for Conrad, just due to the fact that, um, well, Conrad will do it next turn, but I can still have some units defending. And a look, that thing is getting so close to leveling up, that warrior. 
you can no longer recruit units if you do not have your gold crown unit. Sometimes you get multiple pulls of them. Not very often, but sometimes. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, so close to them dead. Oh, good, good. Nicely done. And Marksman. You really seem to be a fan of the, the Marksman, don't you, Chantal? I will be doing about a scenario per episode, or possibly a couple. It just depends on how long they take. The ones with alloys take longer. And very well. We have made it this far, but where do we go next? We must travel north and try to make it to the Isle of, du Isle of Duin. Hopefully we will find refuge there. Of course you are of course you are right, Defalza. But what will become of the elves here? The elves will fight. They may even prevail. But I fear things do not bode well for them. Let us not speak of it now. Onwards! Good luck, Coronrad. Don't worry about us. We will fight the best as we can. And we get 94 bonus gold. 